paying physicians, uh, what they're getting now, they're not going to want to see Medicare patients. And that's what's going to happen uh, throughout health care in the Upper Peninsula. I mean, basically, Mr. Obama's health care is going to, you know, be a real problem for all these local community hospitals. And, uh, you know, they're all worried about staying open. I mean, uh, I, mean I work delivering health care uh, for the last 30 years. And I know that to keep a little hospital open, like an Iron Mountain, um, Hancock, you know, all, all these little hospitals that serve our communities, they're going to be very difficult to keep those hospitals open under Mr. Obama's plan. And, and I agree with you that the price of health care is a real problem. But the, the, it's not going to be addressed by Mr. Obama's uh, plan. Because as you've seen already, health care costs are, are continuing to rise. If not, not, as fast, but even faster than before. The way to address health care is to uh, eliminate a lot of the regulations that uh, limit the amount of insurance companies that are available. Right, right now, there's state and federal regulations which basically limit uh, the amount of companies that are doing business in Michigan. For example, in Michigan, pretty much the only provider is Blue Cross. There's a few other providers, but why don't we open up the health care? Industry, healthcare insurance industry like car insurance. Why can't you go to Geico or to Progressive or to anywhere in the country that offers a different plan? If you open that business, you know, we've got one or two providers of, of services, the costs are going to be high. If you have widespread competition with 100 different providers, you're going to be able to shop more and, and let the market bring down those prices. And that, that's what I think is, you know, having somebody else decide, uh, like Mr. Obama's plan is having, you know, they're going to decide what they're going to pay you, but then they're also going to decide what to cover. I mean, uh, they're going to have this, you know, IPAB board, this right. Medicare IRS, going to determine whether or not Medicare will cover a, a product or a fractured hip. You know, if you're 85 years old, they may not want to pay for a fractured hip. So I would rather have the patient in charge of deciding how to spend the money. Because it's, it's the patient's money in the long run. I mean, they paid into Medicare. They're paying somebody else. So why would somebody else decide how to do it? I think that keeping the control of the patient and the, between the patient and the doctor is much fairer to the person. My experience of private insurance has been in the medical, medical area is that the insurance companies control our medical care now. Much more so. Well, I, 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 I don't disagree with you that there's far too uh, okay. little competition. Too. I, I'm on Medicare right now. I am more <coughs> freedom now than I ever did with private insurance in Massachusetts. And I'm going to have to change that. Because I'm Uh, insurance companies have controlled payment much more than Medicare ever has I mean, and restricted services. Well, no, I, I don't disagree with you, but I just disagree with the fact that the government having that control over it. I mean, I think the patient having control of the money is far better. 